So I wanted to do something that was about the People's Partition. And what actually happened during those months leading up to the decision of partition and the effect on ordinary people like my family. And, and that was the reason I, I wanted to make the film. <clears throat> um, as some of you will know, not only am I an extremely modest actor, I also uh, have, an ex have an extraordinary range. And, <laughs> and uh, so to be able to go from playing an earl in Downton Abbey to a viscount in uh, Viceroy's house really showed you the breadth of my extraordinary versatility. <laughs> Thank you. The starting point in the script was to look at as Gorinda said, a lot of times Mountbatten, as an individual, gets blamed for everything. But the starting point was to say, actually, that decision was a, was a political act. There was a British strategic decision about dividing the country. And what we wanted to do is show everyone's point of view and how everyone, in some ways, you know, the, the staff downstairs, the politicians upstairs, they all, they all suffered from that decision. The decision to divide the country so quickly had huge ramifications and was the largest you know, mass migration of people ever. You know, 14 million people made refugees overnight. So it was really trying to look at that in a way that was a much bigger decision about all the different players um, rather than just putting the blame on one person. It's a very unique historical and social point of view from someone who has grown up in Britain with a British sensibility of storytelling but with a beating Punjabi heart whose ancestral homeland is in pre-partitioned India, which is now Pakistan. So in the way that I am linked in all different ways, the film also tries to tell the points of view from every point of view. I, I would just want to say that um, I think for all that it is a, a story that shows epic decisions and epic tragedy, human tragedies, ultimately, through all that bleakness that is alluded to, it does come down and bring into focus the simplicity of human lives and the fact that at the very end, in this most unlikely of endings, which was actually one of the uh, certifiable, certifiable facts of the film, of two people finding each other in a refugee camp uh, long after the events had taken place, um, and that actually turning out through fiction to become the fact of, of Gurinder's uh, grandparents, I think uh, brings it into focus that, that, that despite this backdrop of uh, seismic shifts both in humanity or humanitarian need and indeed shifts of geographical uh, humanitarian location, um, there are seeds of hope. And I think even in these ghastly times that we're living in, um, let's cling on to those moments of two people finding each other and building a future.